I started off like a lot of them, I never boxed, never boxed, got into a couple of post smokers when I was stationed at Fort uh, Pope, Louisiana, and uh, somebody took me under their wings, said, hey, you know, this kid is an athlete, he might have the potential to box. Being able to participate in a, you know, in a sport that is as ancient as, as boxing is, you know, and, it, and it's represented across, you know, great, diverse uh, spectrum of cultures, you know, from the Pacific Islands where I'm from all the way to uh, the Middle East and Europe and pretty much every every culture uh, has had a form of boxing uh, in its past. So it's, it's, it's just really great to be able to be a part of that history and to you know, try and become the best that I can be. The best part is basically the, the the challenge and the experience of it. To experience all the you know pop, new popularity and the challenge of getting yourself in the best shape possible. This is my first experience, but my best experience. Um, I've been to other training camps, but none of them equal up to this one. I mean, the training's great. The, the whole just the whole workout. I mean, everything about the camp is great. Training. Um, I learned a lot of new things coming to the All Army um, program. I've been boxing for quite some time since I was a kid. But um, when you go to different gyms and different programs, you learn things that you don't know from other people. And that's the um, most creative thing about boxing. So I learned a lot training with these guys and, you know, working out with them, living with them and everything. It's pretty cool. My earliest memory as a kid is, is refereeing when I was probably like two or three years old. My two older brothers boxing. So it's something that's been uh, always been a part of me in my life. Who I, who I am. Stories about the past history of all of the boxing. My experience is I had a great mentor. I had people around me that, you know, showed me the ropes. Meeting new people in the training is Grade A training, like you can't get it anywhere else. The training, the training just getting, coming in with the new guys coming in, seeing different emotions, uh, fighting, and fight night comes up, I love it. Um, being able to, to develop that, that, that personal level of, of, of discipline and focus. Overall, uh, just getting to work, you know, getting to work with with uh, Coach Guzman, Coach Lucia, Coach Gold, Dole, and uh, Coach uh, Lever. You know, they all have experience in the, in the sport. I also have 10 years of experience. Um, it's just good to, to pretty much do my job, still serve my country, and still do what I love to do.
me personally, I think it's a challenge. I wake up every morning knowing that I'm gonna face a challenge. The challenge of it, the 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 hunger to like be the best, because you never know how good you are until you go against the best. And this is a, a great way, a great starting point for a lot of people as far as like find out just how good you are. I guess it's it's been the same for every person who's ever participated in this sport. Uh, you know, boxing uh, you know, is originally a, a combat sport, and um, in order to to attain uh, success in boxing, you have to be able to maintain a calm reserve in the heat of combat. And being able to to achieve that personally is is something that uh, I, I struggle with, and I believe every boxer. Uh, finds that to, to be a challenge and being able to develop that quality of leadership in myself I, I believe has been uh, the greatest challenge. Uh, injuries are going to happen, for one, because a lot of these uh, soldier athletes has never been in a controlled camp like this, and uh, for the extensive time that they're here, the three, three and a half weeks, uh, some of them never been in a, in a training camp. Hey, you ready to uh, jump back and get him some guys It's all about the body language and communication when it comes to injuries. Uh, I stress it every day, myself and the coaching staff. Uh, if you're hurt, then you need to let somebody know so we can get you some medical attention. My, one of the things I use, uh, as you know, follow me through the gym, I have these little phrases I use all the time. And it's, if you're aching, you're icing. Put some ice on it. Let's go see the doc and let's see what we got to do to prevent it from getting any worse. The biggest challenge for me is the weight. Getting down to 178 and being able to maintain it because the food around, love it. The biggest challenge is sometimes it can be weight, just experiencing, because I'm so used to eating, eating good now, now when I, it's time to fight night, trying to make weight, I got to limit the things that I eat. So it would be like the biggest challenge that I have. Making weight. <laughs> Making weight and uh, sparring sometimes. Sometimes it can get a little hectic in that ring, you know. And uh, sometimes the coaches can be hard on you. But um, like I said, it's all love, and um, they take care of you here. We have a lot of fun. Four, two, four, two. I guess my biggest challenge would be myself, pushing myself to my limit to see how, just how far I can go and uh, see like what new plateaus I can reach as far as fitness. So it's just compiling that sense of, hey, I can do it. You know, it's that I can do it. I have the will to persevere because we do put them through some very uh, hard workouts. And uh, I think it's something, that sense of pride that, hey, you know, I went to this training camp, this is what I learned. And uh, I spoke on it a couple other different times that I wanted, you know, to spread. I wanted to spread so we can continue to build this program throughout the Army. Work time is basically where it's time to stop playing around and get right down to business. Uh, do the job that you're here to do, to work, train hard, get better, improve your skill, and basically put it all out there, win every round. Work time means give it all you got. Don't leave nothing out. Don't leave nothing out. Because when it comes to fight, it's work time. Now it's time to work. That means so if you're so used to, if you give everything you got in the practice, then 
when it's work time in the ring, that means you'll you'll get used to putting everything in. Work time is get it in, leave it all in the ring, work hard, it pays off. Let's work hard. work time it's time to get it you know there's no more talking there's no more you know the guys they stand around and doing while they're wrapping hands they got their own single combination uh, conversations going on but when it's work time it's all about boxing it's basically work time man. it's time to get it in Work time just means uh, get busy, um, get focused, uh, you know, stay, stay on mission and um, put your whole heart and soul and effort into what it is that's right in front of you at that time. So that's, that's what work time means to me. I'm one of those guys that loves, you know, I love to motivate people. I'm all, I try and keep an upbeat tempo about it and it's just something that comes natural to me, you know. And, and, and I kind of, you know, thought of it one day in the gym, and and uh, I said it. A couple other people said it, you know, and it, it speaks volume. from uh, just staying focused um, to getting your opponent out of there, outpoint them. I mean, it just pretty much means step it up, you know, take it to the next level. Work time, what it means to me, um, basically it means it's time to work. You know, win every round. You have to go in there and um, work your hardest in order to be successful. Work time. You don't have to worry about what the coaches are going to say to you in the corner. You don't have to worry about what the judges saw because you put in that work. Work time pretty much mean just grind. Time when it's crunch time, it's crunch time. Time to bite down. We're soldiers. We're so uh, my job is a 21 chart, and I know that job very well. And whether I'm here coaching this training camp or in the motor pool at Fort Hood, I'm a 21 chart. I get paid as a 21 chart, and uh, so that's what we we are stressed. We're always soldiers, regardless of if we're playing volleyball. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're a soldier first, and, and that goes with the disciplinary, you know, your appearance, the wear and appearance of the uniform, uh, your actions. You, I, I appreciate these young boxers that you're on a microscope because everybody wants to know: is are you a soldier or are you just a boxer? So we uh, we show the soldier first everywhere we go. My mentor, uh, past head coach, Coach Abdullah, like I said, I've been following him for years. And um, he, uh, last year he retired, and he kind of passed the torch to me, you know. And, and we talk about it, I laugh and joke about it all the time. You know, I talk to him every day. He, he's not here, but he is, because that's an everyday conversation. And, I, and I'm honored to be able to, to, you know, pick that torch up and, and lead these uh, young soldiers into the future of all of us. Thank you.
What the process is, you know, we're here for the training camp or uh, after the championship night where that basically is the armed forces team that will be moving forward. All the other soldiers will be uh, will report back to their duty station that following Monday. And then the armed forces will remain out here for the next the week, following week after the championships. And then we'll fly as, a, as the armed forces team to uh, San Diego to uh, go and defend his armed forces title. It's a, it's a great, it's a high. It is. It's a high as an athlete and as a coach. It's a sense of, of, of pride to see that, you know, myself and my, the coaching staff that we have out here, we did it. You know, through all the challenges and all the injuries, we're here. It's a show going on. And it's, 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 it's a lot of pride in it because I can't wait. I know it, I got chills now just thinking about it. The performance that these young soldiers are going to put on and the show that they're going to put on, not just championship night, but I think it's going to be exciting every night. Well, I, you know, it's going to be very exciting. I'm excited uh, uh, to be, it's an honor to be named the head coach for all on the box. Don't go get your popcorn in between rounds because you never know what might happen. <laughs> to all the soldiers in Afghanistan, baby, this is for you. Whoa! One team, one fight, baby. All arms. USA, baby. Thank <laughs> you.